I'm standing outside the beautiful Athenium building located in Port Elizabeth, which plays host to a week-long craft and fashion workshop that sees 20 local crafters as well as designers from all over South Africa participating in an artistic exchange. Now we're going to meet the lady who's behind this initiative. Follow me. Stefani, you're no stranger to the fashion industry. You and your husband co-own a successful local label, uh, Silver Spoon Clothing. Tell me, what was the motivation behind this particular initiative? We're sitting with uh, people who are, have amazing skills. There's a wealth of talent in the Eastern Cape, but nobody focuses on that, so nobody gets any exposure. Through this project um, and with the support of the MBDA, we want to show the country on a national level, what skills are available in the Eastern Cape and to be able to develop those skills further. Pierre, why is it important to develop arts and culture? Arts and culture is what the cities are about. It's not about buildings only. Um, I think the element of pride that came back into Port Elizabeth over the last um, couple of years mm -hmm. was because of a resurrection in the arts and mm -hmm. heritage and culture. Mm -hmm. Well, what we've done for this workshop is we've combined their, their talent and their craft that they're doing with new things. So I've been teaching them how to do batik and new things that they haven't done before. And I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the end result and, bet, and the, the collaboration between what they know and what we've taught them. Well, I'm very impressed with the local talent here and also excited to see the end product. If you're as intrigued as I am, come to the Buyer's Lounge, which will be open Friday and Saturday from 8 a.m.